All right, we're uh, out here at the Moselle Number no. 10 mine site in Phelps County, Missouri. This was a hematite mine. Worked until uh, mid 1930s, I believe. It was originally an underground mine. Uh, it was then converted to a surface working. Basically, what happened? Uh, country rock is pyrite, produced sulfuric acid uh, when water flooded into the mine, and then caused serious corrosion of equipment. Um, you can see over here we have. Uh, some runes for a mine structure of some sort, uh, wooden timbering, uh, large amounts of spoil piles, and there are uh, very evident hematite outcroppings all over here. Uh, this is this is definitely a candidate for reprocessing. Um, I believe I read that this mine was about 300 feet deep or so when it was worked as an open pit. So uh, that's some pretty damn deep water there. Uh, we're gonna then. Uh, work our way down around there. All right, we're uh, up on the northwestern side of the mine site. You can see massive amounts of uh, spoil piles here, like this uh, one particularly huge hematite outcropping. Uh, again, this was a hematite mine. It's also worked for, I believe, marcasite for sulfides. Yeah, this is a this is an enormous site here. Uh, compared to most of the mines in this uh, in this region because it was worked so late. I believe um, this was worked into the uh, beginning of mechanization for mines. So you did start to see uh, some truck and shovel operations uh, at that time. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Looks like the surface of Mars. Yeah, this is crazy how uh, how vibrant some of the colors are here, how much hematite there is. Um, yeah, we stumbled across a uh, campfire here. I gotta say, I like that idea. This would be beautiful evening. No problem. But uh, I will not be surprised if uh, some of this here gets reprocessed in the future, if there were a smelter nearby, because uh, I think this would just be on the processing abilities of the time when it was mined. Nowadays, not so much. I mean, this is, uh, there's some pretty high-grade ore here, still. Uh, here we are on the, uh, southwest side of the site. I'm gonna zoom in on this water here. Uh, you can see how, um, how much, uh, metallic contaminants are on here. Just that gradient there goes straight to a deep purple. I don't know how it looks on the, on the video. It's, uh, some crazy stuff there. EPA wouldn't be happy about this if it happened now. That's for damn sure. All right, I'm going to try and zoom in on the uh, structure runes on the northeast side of the pit. I'm wondering if that was for some kind of uh, winding engine, because the photographs I have seen in this mine while it was operational showed uh, mine rail and ore carts being worked down in the main pit. And uh, if we pan around, there is uh, there are very few places that would be an obvious uh, place to run ore cars or skips or what have you out of the pit. So I'm leaning towards that... Uh, there haven't been an incline there with a winding engine of some sort. All right, here we are on the east side of the pit. Uh, we took some uh, somebody's ATV trails through those woods over there, and um, here is yet another spoil pile. More here. They really got a lot of material out of this mine. I'd need to uh, look at one of the engineering surveys from. Uh, hundred years ago or so to figure out just how much, but it was a lot. Here we are on the far east side of the Moselle number 10 site. Uh, you can pan around. There's a, a lot of wood here that um, was obviously part of some structure or another. We detected a pretty strong odor of sulfur. We're also seeing uh, marcasite and limonite here. And then uh, there's this kind of kind of gully here. Um, it's got sulfur deposits in it. I think this is yellow boy. I think this is uh, acid drainage from the, the top of the mine. Might have been leaching out of those spoil piles. So yeah, I bet you when there's water here, it'd be strongly acidic. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, there's really not a whole lot of uh, living things around here, so I'm imagining this is pretty well toxic for that. We found a snake under a log, but that's about it. Yeah, so much sulfur, lots of wood, lots of pipe fittings. Yeah, most of the pipes are PVC, so they're more recent. Um, that that's a 
Yeah, it's a PVC pipe uh, T-junction. So yeah, that's that's pretty recent. And there's this. Looks like it might be sur sur uh, surgical rubber tubing. Uh, chunks of pretty heavily corroded steel. Yeah, I will um, cut back if we find any artifacts that appear to be from the uh, actual excavation that aren't just trash from here. Yeah, there's a uh, large amount of um, rotten wood in this slope here leading up to that structure room we noticed earlier. Um, I believe that this would have been an incline here where they would have brought men, uh, run rail and cars out of the pit uh, when it was worked as an open pit. Um, this creek bed here, we were talking about the yellow boy and the drainage. Uh, some of the wood in here is pretty heavily corroded, uh, like acidically corroded, so we got out of there. Um, there's also a uh, kind of dark purple pit of water over there. Kind of like iodine colored. I'm also going to believe that's pretty acidic and uh, not something I'm going to be dipping my fingers in. And there's a huge amount of PVC pipe. Um, looks like it might have been part of some some kind of re reclamation or remediation project. Uh, so yeah, we're going to uh, head back to the truck. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot else on this site to show y'all. Found a uh, proper interesting artifact here. It's the uh, grill cover on a, uh, a car from probably the 1920s or so, which uh, is chronologically appropriate to when this mine was worked. Uh, last reference I've seen to it being active was 1936. Um, I don't know how much longer it continued after that, but uh, yeah, I don't know what exactly this is what this is off of, but uh, yeah, that's part of a car. Got the uh, cap for the radiator. And, uh, yeah, fittings on it. Interesting find. Yeah, so after we explored the mine site, we decided to, uh, shoot some pellet guns and stuff. The uh, trash laying around here. Let that can have it over there. What's that? One on your left. Yeah, shooting a uh, Crossman 1077 with a little red dot sight on it. Things fun as hell. Cheaper, easier to find than a 22, which we'll be shooting if uh, you could find any of that stuff anymore. So it's uh, starting to look like rain. Uh, we're going to wrap up our exploration of the Moselle Number 10 mine site. The a little more shooting, and uh, we're going to walk back up to the truck. And... Um, so hopefully I'll be able to use my YouTube channel to uh, share explorations of numerous abandoned iron, lead, sulfide, maybe even silver mines in the Missouri Ozarks. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.